Remember, we have this parabola, and we're going to go from one to four. Okay, here we just uh, randomly start splitting them up, and the shoulders in, we don't finish it, we just put three dots there. So that means in that manner. Okay, first of all, we have to figure out what the base is. Uh, when you're using in rectangles, all you had to observe the pattern. But how can you find the base? We did it last time. You take the difference between the endpoints and divide by the number of rectangles. So how long is each base? Three over n. Okay. Okay, if we were to do the sum sequence, then area is going to be equal to the base, which is 3 over n. And I have to multiply that by sum, sequence, and then the function, which is still x squared plus 2, a variable, which is still x, and now the fun begins. I'm going to do a right sum. Does it really matter which one I do if I'm going to use an infinite number of rectangles? Will they come from the left, right, or the middle? No. The infinite number of rectangles, aren't they going to squeeze together so that the base becomes closer and closer to zero and it just kind of fills it all in? So whether you do that from the left, right, or middle, it doesn't matter. But in order to set this up and find your beginning,